Turning 613 amid catastrophic flooding in the south and even here in Michigan and Midland and Gladwin counties after the dam failures four years ago, Central Michigan University faculty members are helping local communities to prepare for climate change driven flooding. ABC 12 Cheryl Coonan is live in the Great Lakes Bay Region newsroom with more on what the plan involves. Cheryl. Yeah, well, researchers, Matt, at CMU are building local rain models for much of the lower peninsula of our state in the hopes of helping to minimize damage and better prepare infrastructure. It's a $1 million grant from the U.S. Department of Energy and aims to identify vital community assets potentially at flood risk, including things like fields of high-value crops to roads necessary for first responders. The research includes using the powerful computing potential of the Department of Energy to build new precipitation models that could help local planners know how to protect critical pieces of their communities. They're working with leaders in three Michigan watersheds, including Isabella County's Chippewa River here in mid-Michigan. One of the leaders of the efforts tell me the goal is to zero in on the climate future here in our area. We have global climate model predictions that say by the mid to end of the century, we in Michigan are going to experience increased risk for extreme weather and particularly potentials for flooding. But there's a gap between what a global climate model prediction can do, which is trying to figure out what's happening across the entire Earth system. So wrapping the entire world and giving ideas of what that looks like in the future versus what that might look like for a community. And she says CMU students will also assist in the research. The grant, grant will span three years. Live from the Great Lakes Bay Region Newsroom, Cheryl Coonan, ABC 12 News.